Hey YouTube, how you all going? Um, as promised, I'm finally doing a video on all of the gear that I'm taking to the world's toughest mudder. I've got it all written out here so I don't forget anything. Um, <clears throat> gonna try and keep this as short and to the point as possible and um, <clears throat> I'll run through it in a fairly logical manner. So we'll start with the base layer. Um, socks, lots of socks. Um, Teco uh, was the brand that I went with. I've got light socks, medium socks, more medium socks, hiking socks. Also got um, Ingenie socks for those of you who don't, aren't aware of the Ingenie brand. Uh, they're toe socks, so each of your toes have a little, um, kind of like gloves. Got two pairs of those as well. Um, seven pairs of those type of socks. Never have too many socks in my opinion. Uh, also got these. Um, they're not a neoprene sock. From what I've read, neoprene obviously is designed to <coughs> um, kind of trap the water and hold it against you. And obviously on your feet, that's going to lead to prawny, wet, trench foot type feet. Um, so these are a diving sock, but they're actually got like a, a fleece material on the inside. You probably can't see that on the video, but got a pair of those as well. So um, that socks also got um, icebreaker boxer shorts, two pairs of those. Uh, I would have got more, but they're fairly expensive. So I'll probably just take my normal ones along with me as well. Um, sticking with the base layer stuff guys, <coughs> skins, <coughs> these are their compression pants, they're actually designed for people who are going like snowboarding and skiing, that kind of stuff to keep them warm. Again, it's got the a fleece type uh, inside, equivalent I guess to the Under Armour gear that a lot of the uh, you guys from America are going with. Uh, obviously compression um, type setup as well. So essentially, compression pants that are meant to keep you warm. So they're from Skins. <clears throat> also from Skins is the same t um, type of um, product, the Snow Series S400 compression gear it's called, but in the long sleeve top. Um, this stuff is size small for me. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's nice to have it nice and tight to your body. Normal t-shirt, sometimes I'm a small, sometimes I'm a medium, but compression gear, it said small was the way to go. <clears throat> so, what I'm basically hoping to do is wear um, that under my wetsuit if the conditions warrant it. If it's warm to start with, or warmer, um, I'll just run with the wetsuit, and then as it gets colder in the night, chuck that on as well. Um, as an additional layer or as an alternative, say if I wear the skin's compression top and then um, just want to put something else on that's a bit dry to start with or just need another layer, this is a um, surf kind of, <coughs> um, or dive top, sorry, um, by Adrenaline. It's similar to the dive socks that I just showed you and also in way similar to that compression gear in that it's got like a fleecy... Um, lining on the inside. It isn't as tight fitting to the body though, um, but it's certainly um, quite toasty inside when you put it on. <coughs> uh, sticking with the um, base layer stuff, I do have a few other things that I need to pick up. I'd like to get an Under Armour Cold Gear face mask, um, primarily for earlier in the day before I maybe go to my full neoprene hood. That's kind of... Um, where, how I'm leaning. I, I would have gotten like a two or three mil hood maybe instead, but I just can't seem to find one here in Australia. Maybe once I get um, to America, something I'll find something suitable in the shops. On top of that, um, <coughs> we're gonna. Sh I'm just gonna quickly show you the wetsuits again. You've seen them before if you've seen my other videos. This is my main suit. It's the O'Neill um, Four Three Psycho Freak. Um, Basically, top of the line suit from O'Neill, full um, tape seams, everything like that. Mega toasty inside. That's my main suit um, for when it's super cold. From what the weather forecasts have been saying, from my like trial runs running in wetsuits, I'm actually leaning towards starting the race in my other O'Neill Psycho Freak. It's a 3 2 this one. 
Um, steel full length steamer, long arms, long legs. So I'm probably leaning towards starting the race in this just because it, it's damn hot when you run in a wetsuit. Uh, and then also that way it gives me something to change into when it does get dark or it does get colder. And that kind of thought that, oh, you know, I can change and put something that's dry, I guess, to begin with, and it's going to be warmer. Maybe it's a bit of a morale boost. These are back zip um, wetsuits, if you've seen my other video, but they do have this kind of secondary layer of neoprene that keeps the water directly off your back. Also, when it is, if it is warmer, at least you can pull it down and kind of vent your back a little bit, maybe help um, <coughs> stop your overheating if that ever is an issue um, early on in the day before you get too cold. <coughs> okay, sticking with the kind of main layer, if you like, <coughs> and the neoprene gear, we've got two pairs of neoprene gloves from O'Neill again. These are three mil gloves. Um, <coughs> basically, they I got them cheap because I had a mate in the industry who was ha able to help me out with the deal. I won't put them on now actually, but um, they are a size small, so they're a tad small for my hand, um, but they were too cheap to pass up. So thinking that I'll stick with these as like a kind of first lap or, you know, early on in the session um, <clears throat> and to see how I go with them. I've got two pairs of those so I can swap them out after a lap or two, <clears throat> assuming I go that far, which I hope I do. Um, you may think I'm taking a lot of gear compared to some other videos and lists I've seen, but hey, I'm coming from Australia. I'm not doing this to do one lap and go home. Um, <clears throat> these are my main gloves, uh, made by Waterproof. They're a diving glove. They're five mil thick. They've got a zip here at the kind of top of the hand, which is really good for kind of helping you get your hand in and out, and also keeps them nice and tight around there once you pull the zip up. They're five mil thick right through, including the fingers, so they are not very good in terms of dexterity. I think gripping the monkey bars and stuff like that in these gloves is going to be really hard, but come like midnight, 2am, I think the least of my worries is going to be the monkey bars. I'm going to be more concerned about the cold, and they should help um, keep the cold out a lot more than a three mil glove. <coughs> this is perhaps the best hood that I have found um, anywhere, to be honest. It, it's just insanely warm. It's a waterproof again. It's made in Sweden, so if uh, that's anything to go by, it's made for cold water, cold climates. It's a 7.5. It's essentially 7 throughout the head section, 5 just around that kind of face bit that goes around your head. And uh, I think it's a little bit thinner here in the neck as well. That is what I'm going to be putting on come night time. I also went for the hood that has like the longer kind of bit that overflows over the wetsuit. So that'll probably help keep a little bit more water out of the neck as well. Okay, uh, looking at my list here. That's it in terms of like the main layer. If it gets super cold and I need another layer of neoprene. I've got this old kind of vest. Um, <clears throat> I used to actually own a surf shop, so we sold second-hand wetsuits, new wetsuits, boards, surfboards, all that kind of gear. Um, and this was actually part of a steamer, um, but it was kind of, I cut, it, cut the legs off because they were only short legs, and it, it's quite good because it goes over the top of uh, your wetsuit, and it's just, you know, an extra two mils of neoprene if I need it. Uh, that's a long sleeve. If that fails or I just want my core to be warm and to keep uh, kind of movement in my arms, I've got this, which is a fox vest, short sleeve this time. Uh, again, I think it's a 2 mil. The vests are just standard neoprene. None of them are sealed and that because they're obviously designed for Australia and when it's a little bit warmer. So that's kind of the first set of my outer gear. Also, this is... A really good windbreaker jacket. Um, I went to a store here in um, in Australia. I won't share the name because yeah, they weren't exactly the best customer service. Had to do a lot of it myself. Um, just a, a simple windbreaker jacket. It's it's pretty good though, um, and it was dirt cheap. It was like 
35 bucks down from like 150. Um, that might not seem cheap to some of you guys in America because the gear on Amazon is ridiculous. Like, I love that site now. You can get so much cheap gear on there, it's insane. Uh, this is another just waterproof jacket, a little bit more lightweight, um, but still really good. So, if I need, if I rip one or whatever, I need another one, I've got it there. Waterproof pants, um, same deal, really lightweight, just to go over your wetsuit, kind of break the wind, keep the wind off you, may help in just keeping you that little bit warmer. <clears throat> this is uh, a bit of a different jacket. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. Um, it is waterproof. It's still breathable, though, and it's wind resistant. It, I don't know how to describe the material. It's, it's really weird. It's almost like a neoprene, kind of just like a half a mil on the outside and then almost like a thick fleece on the inside. But I tried this jacket on um, with the green kind of windbreaker and that alone was quite toasty. So if it's super cold, I can have the wetsuit, the vest, the windbreaker, I could have the wetsuit, the vest, that blue jacket, the windbreaker, you know, multiple combinations there and that's how I kind of want it to be. So I can, um, jump around and make decisions on the fly. Also, just while I'm with um, kind of waterproof type gear, this is just a, a bag, waterproof bag. Might help uh, just to chuck. I've heard like chucking your wetsuit in there if it's wet, and then that way when you put it on later, it's still gonna be wet, but it's not gonna be frozen, um, <clears throat> which is what happened last year.